In the United States, all eyes this week were on the uh, Alabama Senate race. Uh, now, Alabama is uh, normally a, a safe uh, state for the uh, Republicans. It uh, previously had uh, two Republican senators and it voted overwhelmingly for Donald Trump in the uh, Electoral College. However, uh, Democrat uh, Doug Jones uh, won the seat uh, at the expense of uh, Roy Moore, who was the Republican candidate. He uh, was a judge and uh, during the campaign, uh, sexual assault uh, uh, against uh, minors uh, allegations uh, came up. Uh, he refuted those, but there were several uh, women who came forward to say they were abused by more uh, as uh, teenagers. And so obviously uh, that clearly had an impact on the vote, given that uh, a Democrat won a Senate seat for the, the first time in 25 years. Now, people said it was a loss for Trump because they claimed that this was uh, Trump's candidate, but this was actually fake news because in the Republican primaries, uh, Trump backed uh, Luther Strange and uh, Trump uh, said so in his tweet following the uh, uh, Moore's loss. And, and of course, this is what the media does uh, you know, all the time. They, you know, uh, anything, if, if something goes wrong for the Republicans, it, it's, it's Trump's fault, even though Moore was the choice of the Republican establishment. Yeah, I think this really shows that um, the Republican establishment is starting to lose a group. It's, uh, it, it's, it's funny, as you said, how the media really turns things uh, a certain way and then reported in a certain way. But I don't think it really is uh, much of a loss to Trump. It, um, it is a, a very red state, Alabama. It's not a, a state that often goes Democrat, but has in the past, a very long time ago. But, I mean, when you have a candidate that have, has rape allegations um, put to him, and uh, obviously the Democrats uh, campaigned very hard on that, I mean, it's very, very hard to to be able to win with such a candidate that has that kind of uh, baggage on him. And I mean, we have to keep uh, keep in mind here that he wasn't actually uh, charged for these. This is only allegations. So I mean, it is harsh for um, for people to judge him, even though it wasn't um, a conviction and was only an allegation overall. But when it comes to politics, any, uh, um, any sort of dirt that uh, the opposition can come up with, and, um, I mean, it, it sticks. It's, it's very, uh, very rough how, how it works. So it was, it was very tough to be able to um, go against um, allegations and be able to win it. I mean, we have many other seats um, that are blue seats, that have had Republicans, such as uh, Chris Christie, for instance, in New Jersey. I mean, um, there, there is a range of Republican uh, governors of blue states. Uh, so, I mean, it is a surprise, but considering the circumstances, I think one can say, you know what, well, I mean, if these allegations never were here, then, I mean, Roy Moore would have won quite comfortably. Yeah, I mean, any, you know, uh, Republican, you know, candidate who just had the, you know, standard CV would have won easily. And yes, you are right to point out that these were, you know, allegations, but you have to remember, you know, this is, uh, you know, politics, which is, you know, a different mm -hmm. game. And you also have to remember that it was only uh, a week ago that uh, Democrat Senator Al Franken resigned when uh, several women came forward to, uh, to say that um, he uh, engaged in sexual inappropriateness with them. So the standard had been set by the Democrats that if you've got this cloud over you, you shouldn't be in the Senate. And, and so this was, it is what uh, Moore was faced with. And of course, if he had one, it would have uh, it would have continued to, you know, dog him uh, when he was in the Senate. Now, the reason that I, I think that Trump, you know, backed him so so uh, much in the final weeks is because, you know, Trump himself knows what it's like to be, um, you know, at the centre of false uh, 
you know, sexual assault allegations and also because, you know, he's not one to, you know, throw, you know, people under the, under the bus, you know, he, you know, he back, uh, back, uh, backs these people, you know, he, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't want to, you know, give, you know, his enemies, you know, a, a taste of blood and, you know, uh, sometimes that, you know, can be a, a weakness in politics. It can, but um, as, as you said, I mean, leadership qualities, uh, to be a strong leader, you have to back the people um, that, that, that you have. I mean, uh, so if Trump came out and actually said, oh, you know, I'm not supporting him, and uh, I mean, it would have been terrible. I mean, it would have been disastrous. And uh, I mean, it would have been um, a, a big uh, fight within the party over this. Uh, I mean, as leader... As long as the person um, hasn't had any uh, actual convictions proven against him, you can't come out and um, and rubbish the person when they've been actually chosen to represent your party. I mean, you have to defend him. You have to stand by him until there is reason not to. And even uh, an allegation isn't a good enough reason to um, rubbish someone and to go against him. I mean, until they are proven... All it is is an allegation, and I mean, at the moment, there's a lot of scandals coming out about these uh, these incidences um, in Hollywood, and with uh, politicians, celebrities, for instance. So, how many of these um, are true and legit, and how many aren't? Because um, if it was that easy to be able to make up stories, then people can be doing this in future. If there's somebody that they don't like as a candidate and they're uh, opposing them then they can get um, some women forward and they can just make up stories and it can damage them and, and make them lose. I mean, it's something that can happen. And don't get me wrong, of course, it's um, there, there would be, after they've been proven to be um, lying, then they would have um, charges put against them. But some people don't care because at the end of the day, if their particular um, idea, ideal uh, a goal is to stop someone from winning a, a particular seat um, therefore d and destroying their career then they don't mind copying a fine or, or, or other repercussions afterwards if their goal is achieved so it's it's just the way um, the way it, the way it works unfortunately and until there's convictions in place I mean it, it, you just don't know who's telling the truth and who isn't. And the ones telling the truth, then I would fully support. But the ones that aren't are the problem. And did Roy Moore do it? The only person that knows is Roy Moore. I mean, until he's proven guilty, we have to give him um, the the doubt. We, we, we have to, we have to, it's reasonable doubt in place here. So we, we, he's innocent until he is proven guilty. End of story. And of course, the political uh, implications uh, of this win for the Democrats is now the uh, Senate is now in the 51-49 uh, in favour of the Republicans, which is going to uh, make it more difficult for uh, Trump to get his uh, legislative agenda through Congress. And this is the the only uh, part of his presidency which is you know found difficult because. You know the the Republican establishment. You know don't like him. Have never liked him. And of course, you only need uh, you know one or two to, uh, Republican senators to say you know I'm not supporting this to you know basically you know sabotage you know where, where, what Trump's trying to do because you know there there's 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 the two um, you know left leaning Republican senators uh, uh, Lisa Murkowski and, and Susan Collins they're they're already most of the time you know vote, vote with Democrats so pretty much and there was you know Marco Rubio who said that he was going to vote against the the tax plan so it's the you can say that this is a, a loss for trump because it basically gives uh, the republicans now with the numbers reduced more opportunity to you know uh, basically try and tear him down uh, even though even though roy moore was their choice over trump's candidate yeah exactly i mean he, he really did nothing wrong here um i mean he uh stood behind a candidate that uh, hadn't had any convictions against him. I mean, um, it might not have been the ideal candidate. I'm sure they could have found a better candidate, but nevertheless, it wasn't his first choice 
candidate that he um, he supported. It was the the choice of the Republican establishment, so um, which which only proves that it wasn't his uh, his doing. Um, the, well, what has happened, and like you said, I mean um, it's going to be very difficult to get anything through now because there is uh, a particular number of rebels within the party that very uh, much dislike Trump. So any time they um, they get, they will vote against him, and therefore his uh, abilities to get things through is going to be very, very hard. I mean, um, even uh, somebody like John McCain, for instance, um, there, there's many in the party that um, are, are more moderate, more established candidates that uh, don't like um, the, the conservative, the, the, the nationalist uh, type approaches to policies. And he's going to find it very difficult. And this um, could cause a bit of chaos for him and the party in general. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.